Good evening. I'm delighted to be here to accept this honor on behalf of my grandmother. She would have been thrilled to earn a place in the Connecticut Women's Hall of Fame. To her friends at St. Margaret's School in Waterbury, my grandmother was known as Lou. In her personal life, she was Mrs. Thomas Ewing, Jr., and proud of it. In her professional life, she was Lucia Chase. But to me, she was Lolo. Growing up, I always thought Lolo was a bit like a fairy grandmother. Though tiny in stature, she was larger than life. She lived what seemed to me an incredibly glamorous life, starting the day with breakfast in bed, going off to run American Ballet Theater and or to rehearse for a performance well into her 80s, entertaining a group for dinner in her dining room, complete with crystal, fine china, and finger bowls, and then zipping over to the Metropolitan Opera House to catch that night's performance of ABT. And if I was lucky enough to be with her that night, we would end the evening by going backstage to see Barishnikov, at the time every teenage girl's dream, and especially mine. <laughs> what more could one ask for? Lucia Chase was born to enormous privilege, yet she never forgot the New England work ethic that was so much a part of her makeup. She never expected to be treated differently than anybody else. When she toured with American Ballet Theater, she rode the bus with the entire company. A consummate actress, she was never a drama queen. While she never took a salary as ABT's artistic director, she insisted on being paid for every performance in which she danced, no more and no less than what everybody else earned. Agnes DeMille once said, Lucia is made of New England granite. As a child, apparently I protested, Lolo's not a rock, but she was. She was the bedrock that held together both her, her family and American Ballet Theater. The middle of five sisters, Lucia was the one who kept the family together. She kept Rose Hill, the family house in Waterbury, for her entire life, ensuring that they always had a place to gather. Whenever things crumbled around her, Lucia emerged more, more determined and stronger than ever. When she got diphtheria in college and learned that she would have to repeat a year, she instead moved to New York to pursue a career on stage, something that was rarely done by people in her social set. When her husband died tragically young, leaving her with two very small sons, she raised them on her own. Rather than sinking into her profound grief, she started to dance, beginning a career that would bring American Ballet Theater to the world. And over and over again, she brought ABT back from the brink of going under. For 40 years, she danced, raised funds, donated, directed, toured, and worked tirelessly to bring ballet to the entire country co-founding and running what is now known as America's National Ballet Company. Lolo taught me many things that have shaped the way I live my life. She taught me to love ballet above all other art forms. That Yale is the best university in the world. <laughs> and that a lady should feel free to lie about her age should anyone be rude enough to ask about it. I've been 29 for a very long time now. But she also taught me many invaluable lessons that girls and women everywhere can learn from. In a time when most women of her background were expected to do little more than marry well, Lucia Chase tore down all kinds of barriers. She was a role model for women everywhere because she made her own rules. Hold on tightly to the past taking pride in your heritage, but don't let it define or limit you. Family always comes first. Don't let anyone tell you what can and can't be done. Never give up. Find something that inspires you and share it with the world. With passion and hard work, you can accomplish anything. Be fiercely loyal to the people and institutions you love but always strive to make them better. 
be stubborn but gracious, proud but not arrogant, determined but not inflexible. Put your heart and soul into everything you do and expect those around you to do the same. Never give up. Thank you for honoring her legacy.